This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. More on them later in the video. Ah, you know what this is. It's a reflector. Great to bounce light, has different sides, also sounds like Batman's cape. But what if I told you that the things you can achieve with a reflector, you can also achieve with household items? <laughs> All right, baby, you wanna be my model today? Okay, let's go. Just sit down over there with your cuddly. Put this on here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have my daughter sit right here and I'm gonna use the key light coming from the window and I'm going to bounce that light with the white poster board so that we can fill up her face with light. All right, so sit right over here. Here, let's do a little close up. Actually, could you stand up mm -hmm. real quick? I'm gonna zoom in. All right, so lighting looks pretty good as it is, uh, but look at the difference when I bounce the light. Ready? So stand right there, look at the camera. Okay, so here's without the bounce, and now here is with the bounce. See how it fills up the face even more so? Before and after. Looks cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna take a picture. I thought that turned out pretty well. What do you think? Good. Good. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna use is aluminum foil. And basically with aluminum foil, I'm gonna achieve somewhat of a similar look with the uh, bounce card, except I want the light to look a little more magical. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a book, I'm gonna have my daughter read it, I'm gonna put a sheet of aluminum foil onto the pages of the book, and use the light coming from the windows to bounce light onto the aluminum foil, and bounce that light onto my daughter's face. And hopefully if all goes well, it'll make that book come to life as she's reading the book. <laughs> Oh, it totally worked. All right, let's take a break and thank today's sponsor, Professional Photographers of America, or the PPA. Now I've been doing this for years. Like I've been doing photography for like over 10 years and filmmaking for well over 10 years. And a lot of the stuff that you've been seeing in this video is all because of experience. So the things that I've learned on set, things I've learned from other people and experience with getting the help from the right resource. And for me as a content creator, I'm not just taking photos and making fun videos on YouTube. I'm actually running a business, like a full-fledged business. I am a business, person, owner, dude, what? And recently I became a member of the PPA, the Professional Photographers of America. And with them, I'm able to have benefits like $15,000 worth of equipment insurance. Like, I'm accident prone, I'm gonna use it. It's a very, you got data recovery services. I have like three hard drives that I need recovered. Like I'll be using them a lot. And one of my favorite benefits, customizable contracts. I'm not a legal person. I don't know how to write contracts. I don't know how to write in general, but I can rely on the PPA to help me do that. Now the PPA has recently upgraded their education program, which features over 900 online videos, tutorials, and personalized curriculums and how to grow your own business with topics like brand messaging, entrepreneurism, and much more. They also have resources for sales and marketing and customer research where they help photographers find out who their clients are and what they need, how to overcome business fears, help them understand what's changed in the industry, how to attract the right clients, and what it takes to conquer in-person sales. So really an awesome resource with incredible benefits when you join the PPA. So if you're a beginner and you wanna start off your business on the right foot, or maybe this is something that you've been thinking about doing for a while, the PPA is where you need to be so that you can grow your business. And if you sign up by using my link down below, you can get $25 off your membership. You're welcome. Thanks PPA for sponsoring this video. And now back to the tutorial. Batman's cape. All right, so the reason why I'm cutting up this t-shirt is because I'm going to use it to diffuse light. There we go, there we go. Look at that. Can I still wear it? Oh yeah, look at that. All right, let's go outside, shall we? All right, so now I'm gonna take the t-shirt and I'm going to stretch it out as much as I can and hold it close to my daughter's face and try to diffuse the sun as it's setting in the distance. Yeah, I think it should work. I think it should work. All right, and last but not least, shower curtains. All right, how am I gonna 
do this. Um, all right, got my shower curtains. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a, an advanced technique. I'm gonna be using a studio light. I'll be using the uh, Aperture 120D and I'm going to enlist the help of a C-stand to hold up the shower curtains. Basically what I'm trying to do is that I'm going to bounce light and diffuse it. That's called book lighting. So I'm going to shoot this light onto the doors which will bounce the light onto the shower curtains which will then diffuse the light book lighting and hopefully it'll create a nice soft look. All right, here we go. All right, uh, I think my setup is complete. Here I have the light that'll bounce to the door and that light will be bounced to the shower curtains which will then diffuse the light and I'll be sitting right over here. Cool, huh? Huge shout out to PPA for sponsoring this video and huge thanks to you for watching and hanging out. Hopefully this tutorial was a fun one and you learned something and if you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Would love for you to be a part of this community. Hit the bell so that you get notified for upcoming videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send off right. Cool.